Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all backyard sports games on the GBA. The backyard sports games are intended for kids, so right from the start I'm gonna tell ya that if you're looking for a challenge, go play something else. Being intended for kids, the games are super simplified versions of the sports the games are based on. I'm going to talk in general about the first games because the idea is the same in all of them. Copy some standard stuff mechanics and simplify them so that kids can easily pick up the game and have fun. Also if you're a casual gamer, you're going to love the games as they are easy to pick up and almost never difficult. Even on the hardest difficulty, you're not going to have a real challenge. Maybe a fair challenge, a little bit of challenge but not a real threat. And that's the charm of the franchise. It's accessible, it's easy and it's cute. Great for the target audience, the kids. As for each game, as I said, it feels like standard stuff. The games also use power-ups, but for me they aren't game-changing. I mean, I didn't feel like it was altering the normal gameplay. Some complain about the power-ups, but for me they were such a small part of the gameplay that they left unnoticed by my critical eye. As for the sports games that imply more people, I don't know why they are played in such small groups. Soccer, basketball and hockey are played 3-on-3, three three, and football is played 4-on-4. Four four. I don't know why the teams are so small, maybe to make the gameplay easier to play. I, it can't be the programming and hardware limitations, because we saw in other football games that the GBA can handle a full team at once on the screen. Also it's nice that the games have real team names, but the teams aren't made yet. It's charming, I mean you can put the kids to choose their players and then play as a national team. You pick who's gonna be on what team, like kids will do when playing in the backyard. It's wholesome. As for the titles that you see repeat, like for example Baseball, Baseball 2006 and 2007, don't worry about them, they're almost the same game. There are some visual differences, but no functional differences. All iterations play the same have the same amount of teams, just the visuals differ, at least that's what I've noticed. As for backyard skateboarding, it's different but not necessarily better. I'll read you the description first because it's worth it. Backyard skateboarding is a game in backyard sports series and the fifth game in the series released for the GBA. A number of skaters gather to raise funds to turn their backyard into a real skate park. They participate in the backyard skate tour where they help out people in the neighborhood to earn stamps in their tour book. They start at mom's and pop's skate shop and by earning enough stamps they can move to another shop. Every location also has a kid acting as a boss, offering a challenge. There are 8 bosses in the game. When defeated the kid joins the group as a new playable character. As each kid also brings a sponsor, at the end of the game there will be enough funds to build the ultimate skate station alpha. There are different skaters available that can be customized, each skater has different statistics based on air, balance, flip, speed and spin. So alright, sounds like a good game. But after hearing such a description you will think that the game is amazing. But unfortunately it, it it's still good but not really that good. The controls are bad, at least in my opinion, which makes the whole game lose points. And imagine doing tasks like for instance delivering newspapers against a time limit, with bad controls. The game is still easy to breeze through in spite of the bad controls, but for me at least I didn't enjoy the game as much as you will think based on the description. Also the depth perception in the levels is horrible. You can't really tell, as you would in Tony Hawk games, what surface is above and which is lower and this confusion will cost you during your playthrough. Though it gets credit for trying to be a pretty close imitation of Tony Hawk. It's like Tony Hawk without being challenging and with worse controls. So there you have it. The backyard games are accessible, lighthearted and easy to play. If you're into that or if you want to familiarize your kid with playing GBA games and other games are just too difficult for him or her, try one of these. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, 
just wait till I stop talking and they'll reveal thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.